I think the monument makes a huge statement. The fact that it's a six foot, four ton granite uh, uh, monument, I think it, it says, says a lot, hopefully, to the community. It's a reminder that we never want to go back to the past. It's a reminder that we've made progress, but it's also a reminder that we need to continue and always be vigilant in fair housing. If you think about uh, 50 years ago, uh, the realtor uh, community was not in step with fair housing, and we've come full circle. This is a, a part of history from a realtor perspective that at times may not have been pleasant, may have been ugly, but we've made significant progress in our partnership uh, with the community. When the Fair Housing Act was originally signed, uh, realtors were n felt that it was an impediment to, uh, to ownership rights. Realtors now feel that we are at a point where uh, it's important that everyone have access to, uh, to fair housing. And we believe that fair housing is the best way to create wealth. A few of our members approached us about the 50th anniversary and their idea and where it has grown is, is vast differences. But it came from some members. If you don't know about fair housing, I think that this monument will serve as a, a beacon to say, hey, this is what we represent. And if you don't understand, get to know others. When you understand someone's culture, then you have the ability to, uh, to walk in their shoes. There's a lot of symbolism in the design. First, we uh, commemorate the anniversary. And then there's a unique design. It's two hands that are clasped. And that's reflective of the partnership that we have not only with our members, but with the public as far as embracing and following Fair House. The importance of the monument is for us to understand that this is our demarcation. This is where we, uh, this is a point of where we've come. So it is a reminder of where we, where we are and what our aspirations are in the future.